Ooh. <laughs> this is so stupid. Just keep going with it. Okay. Um, no, you don't. I'm gonna scream at you so loud your ears give up. Some of you may remember that at the beginning of the year, I was talking about doing a full story project. Well, it's been a full year since I started talking about that, and I haven't really mentioned it since. That's not to say that I haven't been working on it. I finally got a script all written out, and now I'm working on boarding the whole thing. So, like, I've been working on it. It just has been a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. This is not a small project. The story consists of 15 different episodes that, based on how long it takes me to read through it, I'd estimate they're 5 to 10 minutes each. Each episode is a bigger project than I've done, period, and I plan on putting more effort into this project as well. I'd like to say that the script is final, but that's likely not the truth. I have a working script at the moment, but occasionally as I reread it, I find scenes that didn't need to be there or information that needs to be added to properly portray the story. This is a crazy project to tackle alone, and I think I'm kind of insane for attempting to. But Roxanne's story is one I've wanted to tell for a long time, and the way I see it, by going through the motions, I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone, and I'm creating a better me. Even if I can't finish this project, the skills that I learn will benefit my other videos in the future. Basically, now that my script is written, there are a few more steps I have to finish. I have to storyboard everything so I can go in to this with a clear plan. I believe that's the only way that I'm going to ever be able to handle this. Once I do the boards, I can take them and make them into an animatic, and after the animatic comes finished artwork and backgrounds, and that's just the visuals. I'm not even ready to think about how much work it'll take to like, manage all the audio. Now, to give you a taste of what this story is at the moment, Penn will help me do a quick puppet show. Is that my cue? Yep, you ready? Oh yeah. So, I'm gonna be Roxy, and you'll be the others? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Roxy. I like to hide protective runes in tattoo designs because it's a little extra fun. Hi, I'm Lucifer, and you're ruining everything with those magic symbols. But they're fake. Nope, they're real, and I'm super impressed. Will you work for me, please? You're crazy! Get out of here! <sighs> Fine. Later, at Roxanne's house, Hey, you can't talk to him like that. Ah, you're not a person? What the heck? Here's a whole monologue about why you should change your mind about working for Lucifer, because in this universe, he's not actually evil. He's the moderator of light and dark forces, ultimately balancing them for good. Fine, I'll reconsider. I heard you would reconsider. Welcome aboard. Months later, after tons and tons of training. Are you ready for your first mission? Yeah, I am. What is it? This family has a bunch of bad stuff happening to them, and you have to figure out what's causing it, and you have to stop it. Good luck! Thanks! I'm gonna do a bunch of recon, and finally come to the conclusion that this family somehow angered a banshee, and she's the one giving them all that trouble. Once that happens, I'm gonna get all prepared to deal with that banshee and go right after it. I don't want to scream, Pen. Then just do like a ghost noise. Right. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, halt, banshee! Halt? Yeah, halt! You think Roxy would say halt? <laughs> okay, maybe not halt. I've got you now, Banshee! Ooh, <laughs> This is so stupid. Just keep going with it. Okay, um, no you don't. I'm gonna scream at you so loud your ears give up. Then, you know, the Banshee screams. I'm not gonna do that. And that's when Roxy gets knocked over and knocked out, and when she comes to, everything is so quiet. And we get a witness as she comes to terms with the fact that this new reality she's found herself in is one where she can't hear. After some time off to wrap her head around it all, understandably of course, she's finally convinced to get back up on that horse um, by this guy, and when she does, she gets deep into her research to figure out a new and different plan to take down that banshee, and then she tries again. Now that I've got a brand new plan, I'm gonna win this time. Not if I scream really hard again first. Too late, I already did magic to shut you up and take you to hell so you can be dealt with. Oh no, I can't scream anymore. But you know what I can do? What? Kick you really hard. Oh, well, time to drag you down to hell with magic. Come on, you big dumb screamy lady. Ah, 
you won! Congrats, Roxanne. I knew you could do it. Well done. I'm very proud. Thank you. I know it wasn't easy, but I kind of love it, and I want to keep working if you'll have me. Yes, we'd love that. The, the end. end. I love hearing Roxanne tell the story of how she started fighting monsters and this and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think it's one of my favorites, too. If any of you have questions about the story, feel free to ask. If Basil doesn't answer them, I will. <laughs> Thanks, Pen. Yeah, any questions you have, just leave them here in the comments. That's pretty much all for this video. I just wanted to let you know that I haven't forgotten about it. I am working on it, and it's taking forever because I am an animation team of one. Not very speedy, not very efficient. I think that in the future I'll do more update videos for the process of this project. One, to keep me accountable because I am liable to get sidetracked fairly easily. And two, because showing off the process might be helpful to some of you guys who might be trying something similar. I know that other behind the scenes projects have helped me get a sense of what this project is going to require. So you know, by behind the scenes helps. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that as well. Anyway, that's all. Let me know what you think of our quick little puppet show story, the character design, or anything else. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. See y'all next week.